What up, y'all? It's your boy Spiff, and I'm back again with another video, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, and browse. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. You feel me? I'm about to install these real supercharger core packs. Uh, that's what this video is, man. I just did the unboxing last video. Now I'm about to uh, install them. It looked like the clouds moving out the way, and I'm about to actually have some decent weather for a quick little minute. So I guess I'm about to take that time and go on slap them on now i was gonna wait till the night but i'm probably gonna put them on now because it's been a break in the weather it's a little warmer out here but you know what i'm saying it ain't like 90 degrees or nothing like that so i can deal with that you feel me? i need about five six to clarify something right quick there's places in the video where the volume get low and understand that in those places where the volume is low you're not missing no information i already pretty much put the information out there so i just wanted to clarify that right quick i'm using a, a mic it's got an automatic noise cancellation function on it. So that's why y'all hear the uh, ignore in and out. Cause I think as I was moving around the mic, you were probably thinking I was noise and about cancel me out. So that's what happened. And at the end of the video, I think it tried to cancel out my engine as I was trying to listen to it. So I was trying to figure out what happened. I was like, man, why I can't really hear nothing? And then it done on me. This <laughs> noise cancellation thing is trying to cancel out. So that's why the volume be kind of low in place. I just wanted to clarify that right quick. I did the unboxing on the uh, Rip Superchargers uh, core pack last video, so you want a better understanding of what those uh, core packs are and what they do, you go check that video right quick. But right now, we about to install, you feel me? All right, so to do this, obviously being that your intake uh, got to come off and it's connected to your throttle body and your throttle body is connected to your air intake. Your air intake has to come off, and I've already done that. Y'all seen me do that a thousand times already. And uh, what's going to have to happen is, is I got these three over here. I got to change out, and it's three under this thing right here. So I'm going to have to take that off. And uh, got to unhook it where it's hooked and I've already done it I've already disconnected the throttle body the holes here the holes there and uh my catch can holes I done disconnected all that so uh as far as I can see I'm completely disconnected and it says that I gotta remove seven eight millibars millimeter bolts holding the upper intake manifold so that's this and it's seven of these right here and you got let me see one one two three four then it's five then you get where is it oh there it is down in the six and seven down in them little holes right there so i think that's what it says seven yeah seven eight millimeter bolts so i'm gonna take eight millimeter socket wrench and i'm gonna get them off and then what's after that i gotta take two 10 millimeter bolts to get the brackets to move the sides of the metal hole. And okay, so I got some brackets holding it. And those brackets. Uh, what is it? Let's see. Y'all can see this braid line right here. Turn the camera to focus. Okay, there you go. So you got one right there. And then the other one is right here. Right there. So I don't know which way and where I'm going to start at first. So I started taking the manifold off first. I started the brackets first. I, don't know, I think I'm going to take the brackets loose first. And then take the manifold. Because once I'm done unscrewing the manifold, I want to be able to just go and take that off and not 
worry about them brackets. So I'm gonna start with the brackets first. All right, so stop taking these clips off. All right, these little clips right here, they slide right off. They don't have to move. Tight spot like this. Huh. That's the first one. Hopefully, this one just is easy. camera and do it that's them right there that's one and hit a right here right, so i was able to use this to get back there it really wasn't nothing tricky about it. just had to use a different tool but that one thing my pops always told me you got the right tools you can do it a whole lot quicker but uh yeah that wasn't nothing to it man just them four folks hit them two back there and two on the other side I discovered well, I ain't gonna say I discovered. I thought it was another boat back here, but I didn't see it because it had this on it. And that little thing right there on it. And it was holding this wise right there, so I ain't even see it. And I seen it in the direction it said it was another boat back there. I was like, where is that? I don't see it. But that's it right there. That little boat right there. So I get that out and it should come out. Got my eight millimeter socket wrench. Start taking this bad boy loose. Man, that breeze feel good today. This was the perfect day to do this, boy, I swear. Cause it's been too hot. I'm talking about the air so thick you can almost bite it. Man. Go ahead and get these loose. Right now, I'm trying to get this one out of here. And it's unscrewed. I'm not for sure if it's screwed. Now, what I could do is just lift it up. When I lift up the manifold, but I want to try to see if I can get it out of there. And. I know my dad, he taught me a little trick. I don't have one of those magnet sockets. So what he would do is just take this, stuff a little piece of tissue paper in there, like that. And what this should do is grab on it, give you a tight grab on it. Should grab it out of there for you. And bam, they work. <laughs> I don't need a magnet. But dad got all kind of tricks, boy. Let's see if we can get it off. And there it is. now to place them over them holes so won't nothing fall down in my engine all right so 
I got those stuffed in pretty good. I ain't really stuff them in there. I just put them in there just enough so it won't let them fall in there. So now, this is what we want to get to. Lift this look. Take this little piece off. So now, this is what we want to get to. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to be able to get to these six core packs. And we're going to change those out. And we're going to change the spark plugs out. So this right here is a piece of cake, man. And once again, like this was not hard to do. On some cars, this is so difficult. It really, the, And really the hard part be is the room you have to unscrew stuff. But Dodge took their time and figured this one out, man. It's, I ain't came across nothing on this car yet. It's too hard for me to work on, man, for real. But, uh, yeah, so gonna start taking these loose 10 millimeters they pop out and go down in there and get the uh spark plugs out so that's our next move man i was just looking at my tool set and i know that uh it's five eighths that's five eighths to get out of here. And I'm looking right here and I notice this right here is five eighths. This look like a spark plug socket. Look like one. We gonna see though. If so, hey, <laughs> we ain't gotta use the paper towel in the socket trick. <laughs> Trying to find out that is what this is. This is a spark plug socket wrench. Look on the inside until you got that little rubber piece in there to catch the spark plug. So I'm glad about that, man, because I was one and I was like, I might need to go about a spark plug socket, but I got one. So my next move is like I told y'all earlier, I got unscrew these, unplug it here. Let's see. So, unplug that and unscrew this, and it should come right up. So, getting it loose. I can tell with a lot of these plastic pieces on this car, ain't none of it really damn, just real, real tight. So you don't want to crack it, it's plastic. I did that with one of them thermostats. It's plastic, I cracked it too tight. Put it on there too tight and crack the thermostat. Yeah, what's up? All right, so now I got that out. Like that, it popped right out. So that was fairly easy. And let's just hope getting this spark plug got to hit just as easy. <laughs> got my spark plug socket. Stick it down in there.
spark plug socket. Stick right on there. And I'm looking at this. That don't look too good. What you think, Pop? You gotta check it. No, it ain't. That don't look too good. Yeah, Pop said the same thing. That don't look too good. <laughs> so that's how they go, man. Unscrew it here. Well, unplug it first, then unscrew it, and then that the core pack will pop right out. So I'm gonna do that five more times. Bring the box over here because I don't want to move my camera because I done broke the end of my tripod. But as you can see, my core packs didn't come. Like I've seen a lot of core packs come on YouTube. Came in two pieces, but as you can see, you just fit that right on there. I'll show y'all just a second though. But but a lot of other videos I seen, they they came already like this. But it ain't nothing to it though, I'll show you. Alright, so this how it come. And you just put that in there like that. Push it all the way up until it's snug like that. So that's it, man. Yeah. That's how they go. Alright, so I'm about to put this spark plug and the spark plug. I expect to be keep trying to get me in here. I'm gonna pop down in there like that now. It won't come out, it won't fall down in there because I'm trying to screw it. Because it go down in there pretty far. So I put it down in there. Screw to it so it get tight. Spark plug down in there. Gonna put this in there. It's nice and snug. Screw in there. That is it. They look good on that boy, that orange. Match the car. And let me clarify that no, I did not order order them uh <laughs> the core packs in orange. That's the color they come in, Mopar orange. Like that's the actual color. You look on there, it say Mopar orange. That's the color they come in. Just so had them. My car orange too, so they look good. Yes, sir. So uh if you didn't see the uh unboxing video these are supposed to give me 10 percent more power output than the stock ones supposed to get better gas mileage and a whole lot more throttle response out of this and all together i'm supposed to get maybe 10 to 20 horsepower and on the video it said uh that it actually got like 12 horsepower down to the wheel well i don't have that open differential no more so I got that 390 differential. So hopefully I'm gonna get down a little bit more power to the wheel. I'm thinking maybe about 15. So yeah, this is one of those things where it was most definitely worth it, man. I've been wanting to get these for a while now. They just been out of stock and I finally got them on there. So now next move is put everything back together, put the intake back on and bolt that thing back down. All right, so everything is back together. All the hoses, wires, everything plugged back up. Vacuum hoses back together. Vacuum hose over here back together. Just trying to double check, make sure before I try to start this thing. Uh, make sure I got everything plugged up over here. Okay, everything look good so far. So now, all left to do is start it up and see what it's talking about. All right, we done started it up. Ain't no check engine lights on. 
but that's a good sign from jump. Sound good up here too. Yes, sir. So it look like the job is well done. Them coal packs. Yes, sir. Alright, so I finally got that done, but I've been wanting to have that done for the longest now, you feel me? But yeah, running quiet through the front and the back. That's what I'm talking about, man. So all the thing left to do now is to take this bad boy for a drive and see what it's talking about. And I could just drive it now, but y'all know me, man. I cannot give y'all no honest answer. For driving something with a mod on a new mod for like 10 15 minutes, they drive on for a couple of days, then I can tell you. you feel me? But sometimes it seems like this stuff continue to modify itself over a driving cycle. You feel me? So I'm gonna take it through a little driving cycle again. I'm gonna let y'all know what it's coming about there. As of right now, everything's sounding pretty good. So that's my install video, man, for these real supercharger core packs. And from what I hear, man, they, everybody that's got them, they seem to be satisfied with it, so that's good. But until next time, be great, drive fast, and God bless America.